let's do some examples. So we'll start off with making license plates. Now I think everybody's seen a license plate before and the old standard for Arizona was that you would have six spaces. So six either letters or numbers or whatever and there used to be these requirements that the first three had to be numbers. So like for example my old license plate was 673 P P Z. So the first three had to be numbers, the second three had to be letters. Now there were no special winkies or hearts or dashes, it was letters and numbers. You know, kind of what the point of license plates are. They're not supposed to be cute, they're supposed to be to identify bad guys and people who are breaking the law. So, yeah, have you, have you sensed I have a pet peeve about license plates? Alright, so, let's calculate how many different license plates are possible with this requirement of six spaces where the first three are numbers and the second three are letters. So now all I want you to do is take yourself through decisions and choices and um, note I have not given you any other restrictions. So pause the video, give it a try and then unpause it and let's see how you did. Here we go. So we have six decisions to make and the way I kind of think of this is if you were on the phone with somebody at the DMV and they, they were telling you, uh, if you were telling them what license plate you want, you would start by saying, all right, in the first space, all right, so we're here saying in space one, how many choices do I have? Well, since they have to be numbers, I can either choose zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. So I have a total of 10 different choices. Space two has to be a number again, and there were no restrictions, so I could pick any number I want. Space three, once again, I can pick another number. So therefore, now I have uh, my th first three spaces, I have 10 choices each. Now, for my second three spaces, they have to be letters. So for space four, space five, and space six, they have to be letters. How many different letters are there in the alphabet? Um, well, there are 26, right? If you count them up, A through Z, 26. So for space four, I have 26 choices. Space five, I have 26 choices. Space six, I have 26 choices. Now, what does that work out to be? Well, since I have I've filled in all my choices and I have my, I, I had six decisions. And as we learned from the multiplication principle, it says you take your your number of choices in each decision and multiply them. So, oh my gosh, this is just going to be big, but I'll write it this way. This is 10 to the third times 26 to the third, right? Um, and I'm going to pull up my handy dandy little calculator. There we go. All right, handy dandy calculator is here. And I'm going to type that in and that will give me that number. That will give me 17576000. So let's see, what does that come out to be? 17,576,000 license plates. And the question is, is, is that enough license plates? You know, I want you to use a little bit of logic. Um, when you start to think about how many people are in Arizona, I think it's somewhere around 5 million at this point. Uh, could be wrong, but hey, let's just go with 5 million. Um, 17 million license plates may or may not be enough because a lot of people have two cars, multiple cars, business vehicles. There's there's all sorts of vehicles on the road that, you know, are, are why we have um, more than one vehicle per person. So we might, I might argue that might be not enough. And especially because if someone gives up their license plate, they have to take it out of circulation. You don't want, you know, for you to commit a crime and then give your light, they, you turn the license plate in, somebody else takes it and now they get in trouble for it. So when a license plate gets turned in, they have to take it out of use for a while. So that may not be enough. So what would it do if instead of, of having this restriction where the first three had to be numbers and the second three had to be letters, what if it's just anything, right? Six spaces and it's just letters or numbers, any mixture. Okay, what would that do? Count that one up. All right, give it a pause, give it a try. All right, here we go. So once again, six spaces and any combinations, letters or numbers. So if I have numbers, I have 10 choices. If I choose a letter, I have 26 choices. So that means for my first space, I actually have a total of 
36 choices, right? There's your addition principle kicking in there. So I have 36 choices for my first, then for my second space, uh, because there are no other requirements, I have 36 choices there, 36 choices there, 36 choices there, and I have 36 choices for each space, right? And because multiplication principle, because each of these are going to go together to make one license plate, I'm first going to choose space one, then choose space two, gen, all right? So it's just 36 raised to the sixth. Uh, that I have a feeling is going to be a little bit bigger. Let's find out. Um, my calculator opened up on the other screen, so I'm going to drag it in over here. Here we go. So let's see. This It's a little bit bigger, not too much. Not too much bigger. Uh, let's see. 217, uh, 217, So that means thousands, millions, billions, two billion license plates. Have a feeling that's enough for Arizona. Uh, this would have been a logical, a logical choice to make instead of choosing to s going to seven license plate letters like they did. Now, what if you had the requirement that no repeats were allowed? And and we could play all sorts of games. Like so, for example, you could say. Um, O's and zeros get confused, so we're only going to allow zero. So that way, if you're reporting it, the police officer knows. If the person says O or the person says zero, it doesn't matter. They know what, they're, what you're reporting. Um, there's all sorts of different games you can play. So I'm going to give you one example of that, which is just the idea of no repeating. So once you use a letter or a number, you can't use it again. So for example, my old license plate would not be okay because it has two P's in it. And it's not that there's two P's in a row, it's just that there's two P's. So even if uh, it looks something like this, that would not be okay because there are still two P's. Does that make sense? Um, so, six spaces. Once again, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we are. And they can be letters or numbers, just like the last problem, but no repeating allowed. Give it a try. See if you can come up with it. Okay. Here we go. Um, when you are on the phone with the person from the DMV and they're asking you, what do you want your first space to be? How many choices do you have? Well, you can still pick any of the 10 numbers or 36 letters. Uh, sorry, try again. 26 letters. <laughs> That's better. So that makes gives you a total of 36 options. But now, when you're in space two, you've already chosen space one, haven't you? So therefore, how many choices do we have now? Well, whatever you chose for the first space is no longer available, so I have one less. I'm down to 35 choices. Now, similarly, because I have chosen a letter or a number for the first space, a letter or a number for the second space, my third space, again, has one less choice, so it's down to 34, and so on and so forth. So therefore, this is going to have, obviously, less choices uh, than the previous option, um, but let's figure out what it comes out to be. 36 times 35 times 34 times 33 times 32 times 31. I know the anticipation is probably killing you. What is it going to be? Uh, let's see. 1402410240. What is that? What is that? It's big. There we go. One billion license plates and change. So do you see we almost halved the amount of license plates? Oh, yeah, almost. Uh, maybe not halved, but a thirded. Uh, uh, but long story short, it went down drastically just by having that one little change. But um, point being, still plenty of license plates. Now, the only reason I rally against, I kind of against this, is why we have seven numbers and letters uh, when we have seven spaces is in your psychology classes, I'm hoping you're learning about memory and retention, and you will learn that the percentage of the population that can remember six letters of numbers, uh, I forget what it is, it's somewhere around 80% can can do that uh, when you give them just a glimpse, where seven numbers and spaces, that number drops drastically, I believe, down into the 20%. So changing to seven spaces, in my opinion, was not a great decision. Um, they absolutely should have stayed with six. And, and of course, we should still have all the heart shapes and little winky faces and all those things that we've seen. That's a, not a winky face, that's a sad heart. Heart, or it's a heart, heart guy wearing a bow. Whatever the case, it doesn't matter. All right. <laughs> I hope this helps.